Hi, I'm Barbara. Welcome to my channel, Picky Chick. If you haven't been here before, I'm a seller full-time on eBay and Poshmark, and I do reseller-related content on my channel. You'll see haul videos, including clothing and jewelry, sometimes hard goods. I'll take you on ride-alongs to thrift stores, yard sales, and estate sales. You'll often see unboxings from ThreadUp and other sources, and also jewelry bag and jewelry jar unjarrings. If you are a current subscriber, thanks for coming back for another video. And if you haven't yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the bell notification just next to the subscribe button so you won't miss out on videos like this. Today I have a jewelry unjarring for you. I haven't done one of these in a while. Quite frankly, I don't remember why I bought this jar. It looks like some interesting pieces in there. Maybe I saw this big giant crab. It's either a pendant or a brooch and found it interesting but these are getting harder and harder to find and i just held on to it for a while and decided to open it with you today so who's ready to open a jewelry jar i am let's get started and here's a closer view of the jar 35 dollars. i had the 20 percent off coupon so i paid 28 and we'll do a quick rotation here to show you what it looks like before the jar gets opened up All right, and I do have some supplies on hand that I always keep on hand when I do jewelry unbaggings, unjarrings, mystery uh, boxes of jewelry. I have a diamond selector too that I use if I suspect a stone might be a diamond. I have a loop to magnify. I have a magnet to test for precious metals, see if something could be gold or silver. And I've been using these polishing cloths for a really long time. They're sunshine polishing cloths. And they're great for both uh, gold and sterling silver, as well of, as costume pieces, fashion jewelry and such. All of these things are linked below in the description box if you're interested in checking any of that out. Oh, that wasn't easy. I have a very sweet viewer who is reminding me whenever I open up boxes with a razor or with scissors to open with the blade facing away. And I can certainly appreciate that safety tip. Okay, dumping all this stuff out. Let's push this all aside. So that we can deal with one piece at a time. And the first piece I want to deal with is this guy right here. This is a really cool crab brooch. All the rhinestones appear to be there. He has green eyes. This is really, I like this a lot. This is really cool. Let's see if I can see any jewelry marks on this. I do not. And it does feel substantial. Let me double check to see if that closure works properly. It does. The closure does work properly. I have another brooch here. Again, another nautical theme. This is interesting. These are textured shells. Um, they're not real, they're metal. They're matte finish and there's a tiny crystal in the center. Turning it over to see if I see a maker's mark and I do not. But this is very pretty. So, so far two nautical themed brooches. There are quite a bit of brooches in this particular jar I'm seeing in the big pile over there. But there are lighthouse lovers out there. Again, another nautical theme. This seems to uh, be porcelain. So this is quite cute. I like this. Staying with the nautical theme, there's turtles. And I know some people love turtles. If some might be a collector. Let's see if I can find a stamp on there. I do see one. 
as you can see right there, the stamp is K and T. So I should be able to list that in one of my stores or both of my stores, Poshmark and eBay. Showing my next piece here, it is a matte finish gold tone crab, another nautical piece. And by the way, if you hear a lot of noise, there's a lot of wind and a ton of rain coming down. A neighbor just told me that we're having a tornado watch. So if the lights go out during this video, <laughs> talk amongst yourselves. I'll be back. <laughs> I don't see a mark on this, but this is really cool. I'm definitely seeing an article theme here, and I'm wondering if one person was donating a bunch of their brooches and was collector of nautical because again here we have another one this is really pretty this is a pewter tone uh, background on the sea it looks like sailboat in brass tone the Sun and let's see what we have on the back so this is a JJ piece it's signed and I really like this before I show you this next piece here, let me take a quick break and show you what the rain looks like outside. It's crazy. So that was a lot of rain. It looks like I didn't clean my gutters uh, soon enough. Anyway, this is a belt buckle and it's textured. It's actually very pretty. It's uh, star not sterling silver, but it's silver tone. And I've never listed things like this before, but this was in the jar. Here's a fun holiday pin. It looks like Motorcycle Santa. That's fun. Santa riding a motorcycle with some goodies on his back there in his sack. And I am not seeing a jewelry mark, but that is a super cute pin for the holidays. There's a very pretty snowflake brooch here. Looks like all the rhinestones are there. And again, I am not seeing a mark on this one. Two more brooches, as you can see, they're starfish. I'm impressed that so far, there are no stones or pieces missing from the jewelry that we've gone through so far. Now this one also doubles as a pendant. Oh, you can hang it on this so that it hangs this way, or you can hang it on this hook so that it would hang that way. Isn't that pretty? And Here's a closer look at the pink crystal rhinestone starfish brooch. And I'm not seeing a mark on this either. Those are very pretty though, both of them. I just found a watch and again with a nautical theme and this is actually quite attractive. Looks like a mother of pearl watch face. It's silver toned everywhere. There's a multi-strand chain for the band here. And again, a couple of more shells here. And there's something right there. And that is stamped 925. And it looks like there's more stamps over here. And that's stamped 925. So what we're going to do next is take the magnet and see if the magnet sticks. And if it doesn't stick, it's a good sign that it actually could be sterling silver. So I am going to take my jewelry testing kit that I have and I'm going to test this after the video. And right now I will tell you if it was sterling silver or not. Look at this gorgeous bracelet. This is definitely a handcrafted artisan piece. Seed beads and crystals. And I love the color combination. It's kind of a, a metallic gray and a brownish copper bead mixed. Look how gorgeous this is. And it's got a 
a ball closure with a loop at the end, like so. That's so pretty. How cute is this deer brooch? It's gold tone and it has a mother of pearl intentionally chipped. I don't know the exact name of that type of design. And if you do, please leave a comment. And let me know down in the comment section. And let's take a look at the back to see. It does have a stamp and it's LC. We know that is Liz Claiborne. Very cute brooch. Pulling out another watch. This one, this one is an Anne Klein watch. And the crystal is quite scratched on this one and it also is not running. So that part might just need a battery, but uh, the fact that this is so scratched, I probably will lot that up in, a, in some other watches and sell. Got a great band, two-tone, silver and gold. The way this starfish brooch is designed with the crystals being iridescent in the center and clear around it, this is stunning. Isn't that beautiful? Let's turn it over and see if we can find a maker's mark. I don't see one, but this is a gorgeous starfish brooch and it makes the third one so far in this jewelry jar. And here's another brooch with that mother of pearl design that's got that mosaic chipped design like the one that we saw earlier, this guy. So very pretty. And again, it's Liz Claiborne, as was the deer. Isn't this beautiful? Look at the detail on this. Again with the nautical. This is um, a turtle, starfish, sand dollar. This is just gorgeous. There's a fish and I'm wondering if those stones are authentic. This is, this is a pendant actually. I see a mark on there. Let me get you in closer. As you can see, there's a 925 stamp right on the back. Let's take the magnet to it. It's not sticking, and I, I'm pretty sure this is a real, genuine sterling silver. Might even be genuine topaz, or I don't know what other light blue stone that could be. I would probably take this one to a jeweler. And I'll put on the screen right here whether it tested sterling silver for me. I think it is though. And we've got ourselves another watch in the jar. This one is Anne Klein. It's two-toned. It's a matte silver and gold. As you can see, there is a little calendar in there. It's not running. It probably just needs a battery, but otherwise it's in really great shape. That's a nice find. Here's a really fun bracelet. It's a stretch bracelet, but the elastic is just about shot. So this will have to be restrung on new elastic. Oh, look at that. I just saw that there is a mark on this and it's Chico's. So this is quite cute. Uh, giving, loyal, thankful, joy. There are a lot of messages here. Beautiful, love, wish. There's an angel, dream. So this is a very fun stretch bracelet and I'll probably restring that and sell that in my eBay store. It's a really fun bracelet. If you're enjoying the video so far, Fred has something to say to you. And action, Fred. Oh, Fred. Say it. He did great in rehearsal. What he wants to say is, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel and you like what you see so far, hit that subscribe button. And now back to the video. This is a really beautiful crystal rhinestone brooch 
flowers with the bow, all the stones seem to be there. And I see a mark on there. And the mark is Monet. So that's a very lovely piece. I will be selling that in my eBay store. I just pulled this beautiful pendant out of the pile. As you can see, there is white mother of pearl inlay and some iridescent mother of pearl as well. This feels very nice, very high quality. And it looks like there is a mark. And as you can see, that is stamped with 925. I'm certain this is 925, but I will definitely test it and I will put on the screen as I have been doing whether or not it is indeed 925. That's lovely. And here's yet another watch and look what I see on the face. It says Brighton and it has all the markings in the style of a Brighton piece. Look at that, two-toned. Nice, and this one has a toggle bolt, or toggle closure, I should say. <laughs> um, and it doesn't seem to be running, but that's okay. I'm happy to put a battery in it and get that listed. Let's take a look at the back. The back, it says Brighton Del Sol, Japan Movement. I'm going to try to polish this up. Let's see what happens. That's doing a pretty good job. This is a great piece. What do we think of this jar so far? I'm pretty happy with it. So far, these are the only earrings I found in this jewelry jar, so I wanted to make sure to show them to you. The stones look authentic, actually. I have a feeling that the ear wires are not sterling, but I'm not sure about those charms. So let's take a look. Oh, well, definitely the findings are not. But I'm trying to zero in on these charms to see what happens. They're not really attracting to the magnet, but the other stuff is. So I am going to test the charms and see what the story is on those. And I'll let you know right here whether I found out if they were sterling silver or not. Look at this brooch. I have never seen anything like it. I think it's super cute and very unique. It's a goldfish bowl with goldfish in it as well as like little seaweed decoration there. <laughs> Is that ever sweet? I do not see a maker's mark on that <laughs> but that is just a fun brooch I'm showing these two bracelets together because they have a very similar uh, design and clasp so the first one is this bracelet with turtles and the clasp is magnetic and this is how how it works. So that's really cute. And here's a closer view of the sand dollars. And it's made exactly the same way with a magnetic clasp. Now I'm going to put these down and do a quick check with the magnet. And interesting. Okay, well these are not magnetic except for this clasp right here because we know there's a magnet in there, right? So Definitely going to test that out and let you know what I found, whether it's sterling silver or not. Look at this little pin, the little brooch. It's egg-shaped. It's got crystals on it, and it's enameled in sort of a orangey-gold color. Hearts and stars, or one center heart and stars. And it does have a stamp on there. That is a Carol Lee piece. How about that? It makes me wonder if it's vintage or not. I'll have to look into that. But that's a nice find in this jar.
This is a very delicate necklace. It's got a box chain and a clear crystal heart. It's faceted. I'll give you a closer look at that, but first I wanted to take the magnet to see. I'm pretty sure this is sterling silver. I can tell by a link that's on the clasp. Now this, there's a mechanism just inside of there. That's why it's stuck to the magnet because there's a spring inside that would not be sterling silver. But here's that clasp that's often, or that link I should say, right there that's often stamped with a sterling silver. As you can see, it is stamped with Italy 925. And here's a closer look at the necklace and the pendant. Here are two dragonfly brooches. Let's take a look at this one first. You can see they're light blue crystals on silver tone metal. Let's take a closer look. I am examining this and do not see a jewelry mark. But it's a very cute little pin nonetheless. And next we will look at this one. This is gold tone. It's got some iridescent crystals for eyes and right there at the body it looks like a painted enamel. And let's turn this over and see what we can find. I am seeing a stamp right there. It looks like it says Torino. I am not familiar with that brand so that'll take a little bit of research to see what the history of Torino is and the resale value. It's a very cute brooch. There are two more watches. Here's one of them. It says Precision by Gruen and I believe it says Diamond Quartz. It's not running. It's in very good shape though. It's sort of a hematite tone. It's got a stretch band. Hmm, impressive. I think this could have quite a decent resale value. Let's turn it over. Marked on the back also Precision by Gruen and then has a model number on there so I will definitely look this one up and see about replacing the battery and reselling this one too. This is a Seiko watch. Now this seems to have quite a few scratches on the crystal. The band is in really good shape. It's two-tone gold and silver. It looks to be in great working order as far as the clasp goes. Let's check the back. And the back is marked Seiko, water resistant, stainless steel. And it's, there are some numbers on there that I can look up as far as the style number. There are a lot of watches in this particular jar. The jar didn't seem that big either. So I'm impressed by how much is in this jar. Look what we have here. Two dolphin brooches. This one is a painted enamel. Isn't that beautiful? With two blue dolphins and shell and starfish with some seaweed. Let's see if it has a mark. I am not seeing one. That's a very pretty brooch. And here's the silver tone dolphin themed. These two, one is matte and one is uh, polished silver, but these two are riding a wave. Look at that. This is just beautiful. The way this has a lot of action with the dolphins swimming. And let's take a look to see if we can find a jewelry mark. And right there is the jewelry mark. The jewelry mark reads AJC. It was very tough to see even under the loop, but thank goodness I had the loop. But this is quite a fun brooch. Here's a really lovely brooch. It's a floral brooch with green and purple crystals and then it has a cabochon at the top. It feels heavy. It's, it's a hematite toned metal. I do not see a jewelry mark. Now there's often places like there that looks like there should be one, but if you look at the close-up shot here, there's there's not a mark. This is such a beautiful pin. It really does have substantial weight to it. Here's a silver tone brooch. Sun, moon, and stars, crystals, all there. We're looking for a mark. 
not seeing one. Oops. This is one of those add a charm pins. So it opens up at the end here and you can add charms and beads to it. Let's take a close look here at the charms that are in this one. Not surprised to see another beach theme. There's a flip flop, a beach chair and a shell and a couple of spacer beads in there. And I, ju I just saw a mark on the side here. Let's take a close look at this. Well, look at that, 925. So that's a sterling silver charm right there. How about this one? This is also a 925 mark. And what about the shell? I don't, right now I don't see one on the shell. Let's put this down. Oh, well the shell doesn't seem to be um, sterling silver because it's sticking to the magnet. The chair is not, and that was marked with 925. And the flip-flop is not either. How about the pin? The pin doesn't seem to be attracted to the magnet. So I don't think this is sterling since it's stuck to the magnet, but I'm giving these other two a test. I'm pretty certain that they are sterling silver. I'll let you know right here on the screen. I'm giving these other two a test. I'm pretty certain that they are sterling silver. I'll let you know right here on the screen. Look how fun this bracelet is. This looks to be a mesh style bracelet on the back and it's got all these movable floral charms on it. It's a couple of other beads. And this feels substantial. I love this bracelet, it's a sta little statement bracelet. Let's see if this has got a jewelry mark anywhere on here. I'm not seeing one on this end. Here's a closer look at the little dangle charms on here. Let's take a look at this end to see if we see any marks. That's shocking. I don't see a mark. I don't even see one on the back of these little charms here. That's surprising. This is such a cute bracelet. I love that. Here's a very pretty statement bracelet in yellowish gold and greens and these silver tone are these called geodes i think they are the name is sort of escaping me i don't know why that happens i need to take my memory pills <laughs> but um i'm seeing a, this is a chico's look at the mark on there i am not surprised chico's has some very pretty statement pieces necklaces bracelets earrings so that's quite lovely. I really like that. And that's definitely going to get listed in my eBay and Poshmark stores. For two brooches with cat eye cabochons, you can see that this is a, a fish, enameled fish with a blue cat eye. And yet another crab with a pink cat eye. Not seeing any jewelry marks on either one of these, but they sure are fun. Who likes palm trees? Whoever had these like palm trees. This one is uh, enamel painted, it looks like, with crystals. Let's see if I can get the camera to focus a little bit better. And it's set in gold tone. Oh no, it's set in silver tone. The front looks like gold tone, but it's not. So that's cute. And then we have this one. It's also green enameled. And that one is gold tone. Pretty crystals, iridescent on the front. And I'm looking to see if there's a mark on the back. And I don't see one. But two cute palm trees, for sure. A trio of fish in a matte gold tone metal. No stamps on there. I really like this, actually very sweet. It's very artsy. And as I'm pulling pieces out of this jar and coming to the end, I noticed that all of these had a very similar style and sure enough they are all made by 
a maker called Lucinda. Now, they feel like they're acrylic with some sort of shellac on there. I will show you each and every pin, but there is a following uh, to Lucinda jewelry. Now, as you can see, this is a fun fish with crystals, and it does have the Lucinda mark on the back. This one looks like uh, two children having some tea and skating. They have their ice skates on. That's really cute. Little People Pins by Lucinda. This looks like the Pink Bow Breast Cancer Awareness Pin. And you see her name on the back of this one. And I believe she has a whole line of house pins. So this says house pins by Lucinda. So here's a snowman and a snow shovel. And it looks like some trees, that's fun. Here's another pin, looks like Santa Claus. House pin by Lucinda there. Here's another house pin. Is that a white picket fence? I think so. House pin by Lucinda. And here are two that are snowmen. Aren't they cute? That says Lucinda and again, Lucinda. And the final one is a Christmas tree with presents and looks like a very fashionable lady on the front. And Woman Pins by Lucinda. So I'm really happy to have found all these. I know there are followers of Lucinda Jewelry and I will be listing these on eBay for sure. Here is a very delicate gold tone necklace and it's got a pendant with the letter A. Actually, it's a locket. You can see there's a hinge there. Let's open it. So that opens up. It's a matte finish and look how beautiful the chain is. It's got little ball stations on it. Now I noticed that there is a little charm on there with the maker's mark. I need your help. If you recognize this maker's mark on this little charm, please leave me a comment down below. I can't make this one out. Here are three Pandora style bracelets. They're beautiful color combinations. This is one of my favorite colors, like a teal blue. So those are pretty. And more pretty beads on this one. This has really pretty glass beads on it. And finally, this red one. Red and orange and silver tone. Really cute. I wanted to point out that these all had the double lobster clasp closure. That's interesting. Here is a quartet of snowmen. These three are resin and this is gold tone metallic. I'm not seeing a maker's mark on that. And let's turn these over. No, no marking on those either. But they are cute. And we cannot leave them out. There they are. This is a beautiful oval pendant. It looks like it's mother of pearl shell. It's more flat on one side and it's got kind of got a blistering texture on this side. Let's take the magnet to it and see what happens. Well, it's not sticking to the magnet, so I'm not sure if this could be sterling silver or not. It's certainly worth a test. I don't see a mark on it. Let's test it and I will put on the screen right now if it was sterling silver or not. This segment of the video is called the rest of the stuff. The rest of the stuff includes stretchy bracelets made with plastic beads, all of those. This is a tangled up Liz Claiborne necklace. This is just a miscellaneous watch head. It says swap on the back. It does not work. And a broken necklace that looks like it used to be pretty. It's got pearls and crystals. 
This is just a costume piece here, fashion costume piece. Very inexpensive. Some loose beads and charms here, which you often find in jewelry jars. And this is a pretty little sea bead necklace. It does have a jewelry tag on it, and it says Leah Sophia, but I think it's incomplete. I think there should be a pendant or something on there, I'm pretty sure. So that concludes the rest of the stuff. I hope you enjoyed today's jewelry unjarring. Let me know down in the comment section down below what you thought about this particular jar. Do you think it was worth $28? Do you have a particular jewelry that you collect, like nautical theme, angels, butterflies, insects? Let me know down in the comment section. Thanks for watching today's video. Don't forget to subscribe if you already haven't, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.